In which direction does the induced current flow in the coil? Choose from x to y or y to x. So we are told in the question statement that we have an AC generator. So which hand rule does an AC generator use? All motors use the left hand rule and all generators use the right hand rule. You have to place your hand on the side of the coil we are interested in. Here we are interested in Y and X. You point from north to south with your index finger. Your thumb should be perpendicular to your index finger and shall point in the direction of the force. So look at the rotation happening in the coil. The coil is being rotated clockwise. So it means that Y and X will be going upwards. So you have to make sure that your index finger is pointing from north to south and your thumb is pointing at the direction of the force. If Y to X is being rotated clockwise, then it is being pushed up at that point. And if you do that, your middle finger is going to be pointing from Y to X. And your middle finger is how we get the direction of the current. This is the force, and this is from north to south. Our answer here for 10.1.1 is clearly Y to X. Let's look at 10.1.2. On which principle or law is the working of the generator based? We know that uh, the law we're interested in in generators is Faraday's law. So that is the law or principle in which the generator is based. Uh, let's look at 10.1.3. State the energy conversion that takes place while the generator is in operation. So for all generators, we have mechanical energy to electrical energy. And then for all motors, we have electrical energy to mechanical energy. Here we have a generator. So our answer should be mechanical energy to electrical energy. That is the answer to 10.1.3. Uh, quite an easy one. And then now 10.2.1. 10 the voltage output for an AC generator is shown below. And there it is, as we can clearly see. Write down the maximum peak output voltage of the generator. If you look at your graph, you will realize that the peak is right here at 340 volts. So we have Vmax being equal to 340 volts. And 10.2.2. A stove is connected to the generator above and delivers an average power of 1,600 watts. So let's just write that down. We have a power of 1,600 watts. Calculate the RMS voltage delivered to the stove. So VRMS is equal to Vmax divided by square root of 2. So Vmax, we've already deduced that it is 340. We just need to divide that by square root of 2. And if you put that in your calculator, you should get 240.42 volts. This is the VRMS. 10.2.3, calculate the resistance of the stove. So we have the power. We have VRMS. We are looking for R, which formula connects these three variables? That is power being equals to V squared divided by R. So the power is 1,600. Uh, the voltage or VRMS rather, it is 240.42 squared divided by the resistance. So the resistance will be equals to 240.42 squared divided by 1600 and if you put that in your calculator you should get 36.13 ohms